<laughs> Hi, welcome back to Cordon Cafe. This is part two of uh, stripping this machine down. And um, so far, we stripped everything off it basically. And now the main uh, one is the door seal. Uh, these door seals, different, different machines have different types. And this particular one has this plastic band around the edge of the seal at the front. And to remove that at the bottom there's a clip now this clip on the bottom here I'll take it off and show you it's a it's as simple as that and the way this goes together is simply like this okay and to take it off the door you have to slide it sideways to get it off <laughs> like that okay so it's, you can see there goes like that to so take it off push it sideways and pull it out and that's how the door seal is clamped when it's in when it's in place now these door seals it's not as simple as that so there's the ridge and there's a little pointer there at the top pointing upwards on some machines there's, there's nothing um, <clears throat> and you you can in fact if you had a leak at the bottom you could actually spin this around 180 degrees uh, just to get you temporarily through until your new door seal comes <clears throat> on this one here we'll show you what's going on inside here right This is over a lip here. Now you can see where this lip is here. Okay, that's that part there has got to go inside that all the way round. So that you can put your band back on into that groove and this band will effectively be pressing the door seal into that groove like that it's got to be done right because if you don't get it right it'll come off and flood your kitchen this peels off all the way around So when you come to put it back on, you must get that seal back inside that lip. And you've got to make sure it's in properly all the way around. Okay. Right. So now we'll take the one from the inside off. <laughs> Let's take the camera to the machine. See if we can do it without stopping it all up. Right, now <clears throat> you can see the seal here, the door seal, and here, this is what clamps it on. It's a spring. Now, <clears throat> if we can find the right tool, we can perhaps uh, get this off easily enough. If you can hook something underneath this, if I'm working on that hand is. Okay. Let's look at this from the front there. As it comes up. There it is. One single piece of string. <clears throat> now, you see the pointer, the, the tab here, it's like a pointer on the uh, front of the seal. Where's it gone? There it is. That's to say, it's got a point upwards. 
because this machine being a washer dryer has a warmer inlet for the air when you're drying them at close. Now this comes off the hand inside, lift it out and you'll see on this one it's got lots of grooves and raised parts on it like a tyre and these sit on the grooves there these raised parts on the seal sit in the grooves and you've got to make sure that's really in properly and then you put your spring on to hold it in place so just pull this off now see what we're doing here put it all the way around Now we have the complete door seal. Okay, now you see the little tab there points up. That's for your warm air inlet. Inside, there's a vent there as well, which is pretty clagged up. I shouldn't think there was much life left in this door seal. Anyway, there we are. So that's the door seal. There's the concrete weight it took off the back. Um, now, <clears throat> let's now put this camera back on the stand here and we'll remove the um, top completely. So I'll just fill it a bit. There we are, guys. Right. <clears throat> now, this is a, this is a, a scrap machine. So I'm not particularly bothered about it really. Um, now the I'll show you, I'll show the suspension. These springs here, um, these go through the frame at the top. Got everything connected in here. <laughs> the pump is down here I think you can see that yeah uh, this is the pump oh this is the pressure vessel which goes from the bottom of the tub and it takes water pressure in here which makes air pressure and more water pressure here and that goes on to the pressure switch up to there um, I've cut the outlet pipe off. The, um, the pump is down here. We'll take the picture of it down there. Water pump is down here. And that's about all for the water pump. The, <coughs> switching for the door obviously this is the this is the door switch here and the pecker, the pecker switch in there and that slides across onto a micro switch in there <laughs> now the water tub here that's hang here These weights on the front, these are held on with these big bolts here. You take the bolts off and lift the weight off, a lot easier to handle that with. Um, Here's your motor. So, this is upside down now. <clears throat> These uh, damper sluts, st sluts, <laughs> struts, <laughs> um, are held on here. And there's another one of those things still here. And those look like that. Like that. Now, to get them out, So you get them out, and you're trying to pull them out, that 
must be pressed in. Now you can do it with pliers, hold it in, but you won't be able to get it like that. It's not as simple as that. So you get it from the side and it's in situ. And the leg of the damper's on there, of course. And then you have to gently, well, pull it out and it will slide out then. That barb there holds it in place, you see, so you have to push that in. Pull it out and you'll get your damper off. These springs here, these suspension springs, are hooked on to the top of the frame of the machine and these sus suspend the drum. If you can lift the drum up, or get your mate to lift the drum up hard after you've removed your dampers, you can, these will come off quite easily. They, they, they will actually just, if you lift the drum, they'll just lift out the frame like that. Then it's quite easy. The hard part is lifting the drum up. And, um, what else have we got? The motor, well, there's not much to say about the motor. <clears throat> this is a brush motor. Um, they've got uh, two brushes <laughs> and the belt. And this is just the earthing. And uh, when you change the belt, you wind it off like that. And there's the belt. <laughs> If you need to take the drum apart, um, if you need to replace the tub bearing, then all these bolts, all these bolts have to be undone around the edge. Take the weight off, remove everything and the motor, remove the spider wheel from the back, take all the bolts out, and then split the drum in half take the well split the tank in half then you can take the drum out take the spider off the back pull it out and replace your bearing <clears throat> um, and that that's how you replace the bearings on these and i think we've covered a lot of that there the control panel on the front we've got removed this is the control panel and there's more circuitry in there once again if that's got a fault in it you just you just got to replace it take these screws out this cover comes off this clips there which hold it in place and um that board you just replace it but it can be very expensive depending on the age of your machine you may not want to bother with that and this is the condenser unit which i joked about earlier which is on the side of the machine. The when the when the warm air comes into this, it comes in through uh, through here at the bottom. A condensed water also drains back into the tub through here as well. So there's your condenser tank regarding the drying part of the machine. And there's that bit there. And I think that about almost covers us. And that's the bottom hose of the tank. Yep. And uh, I think that's it and that's covered for, for, for this video anyway. So I say bye bye for now. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your machine. Bye for now.